my hopes for the North and I could talk about that forever. A single blade of grass stands alone, bending in the wind, but never breaking. Its strength is in its roots. Soon one blade of grass is joined by others, knitted together, becoming stronger. You get the picture. If you think about it, it's the same for grassroots projects. It starts with one person, soon that person is joined by others who knit together into a strong group of people, working towards a common goal. The project grows into something so right for the community that it couldn't have happened any other way. Such is the project plan put forward by Halifax's North End community for the future of its very own and much-loved St. Patrick's Alexandra School, a proposal that has deep roots and visionary ideas in business potential and development in mind. The goal of this plan is to improve the lives of residents of the North End by transforming the school into a central hub of community activities and services that support and encourage residents, improve their employment prospects, and help them become homeowners. It's not for the benefit of one group over another group. I mean everybody. I mean everybody in Nova Scotia. I believe that this will truly develop into something that everybody else is going to want to do. The community group is made up of people who know what they want for the North End. People with the experience and vision to make this successful. To be clear, no one is looking for a handout or a charity. They will buy the school and property at a fair price. So I feel like that property is a really key piece of, of retaining what it is that we have here. It's um, valuable and, um, and could be an incredible asset for the community, making sure they have some control over how the area develops. Community programs will be housed in the school providing much needed and much requested space for a community centre. The surrounding land will be developed into more than 250 units, some of which will be designated for low-income families so they can finally have homes of their own. This north central area of Halifax is special because it is an eclectic mix of people. You have people who are professionals, you have college students, you have the working poor, you have the non-working poor, you know, you have grandma, you have a grandchild. It's a, a mix of all kinds of racial diversity. The center will offer much needed services such as support for youth who want extra help with schoolwork, training for young people and adults preparing for community college, recreational and exercising programs such as music and dance, senior programs for those who feel isolated, nutrition education through cooking classes. The center will also connect youth at risk with support programs they need. I have witnessed the uh, gentrification. I own a home on Maynard Street and I've seen the properties flip two and three times with new people coming in. But the positive side of that is those resources, the skill sets that these people bring into our neighborhood in order to help us facilitate a project like St. Pat's Alexander, I think, is, is, is an asset to the community. This proposal includes a gymnasium, space for local arts groups, nonprofit organizations, and a new location for the Mi'kmaq Native Friendship Center, the North End Community Health Clinic, and the Richard Preston Center for Excellence. This is an unprecedented collaboration and speaks to the project's vision and potential. In a nutshell, St. Patrick's Alexandra School will provide a positive focal point for the community that will, over the years, help transform the North End into the vibrant community it was meant to be. And so we have the opportunity, I always say once in a lifetime, certainly probably once in my lifetime, to actually make a difference that's going to be here for future generations. If we do it wisely, you know, thoughtfully, carefully, um, considering all the different implications, and then bringing into that space the things that are needed to support the people who are here. The Grassroots Project Plan is the one that provides the best hope for the North End. And the reason for this is very, very simple. It's the plan that has the best chance of working. The best chance of getting buy-in from the people who live in the North End. Our plan will build from the ground up to effect positive change, permanent change. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that grassroots projects seem to be the most successful ones, wherever they are located in Canada. 
This project is many things, but above all, it's so simple, so right. What a concept.